All right, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome back to another round of Against the Storm. Hopefully, it drops me in the right one. Yes, I think so. Yes, I'm pretty sure this is the new run. I mean, it's not giving me a cutscene, and this is yeah, this is the map. Okay, so we got to worry about needs. We also have small farm can produce vegetables, grain, mushrooms from smaller, uh, small farmlands nearby. Farm field. Okay. Scavenger camp. Small farm. Oh, interesting. It's kind of limited. Um, perfect spot will eventually be here. Or here. Okay, what, are, what the heck are these? Slick shells. Okay, we need a trapper camp. We don't have one of those. Uh, let's see. I guess I'm just going to put it there. And let's get our, our road path situation down. Kind of the same deal as last time. Also interesting that my ancient hearth. Sacrifice. Oh, I can probably burn extra stuff. That's probably the case. But yeah, let's get the uh let's get the farm going. I might even try and get a couple. Okay, we haven't gotten our objectives yet. So I'm gonna be a little I'm not gonna say disinterested in them. Okay, and we're gonna need a stone cutter camp. Pretty bad. There we go. I can probably speed this up a little bit. Oh right, that's the other thing we need. Housing. We're going to need shelters. Okay, I've got eight people, but I'm going to need that lumber camp. Otherwise, we can't do anything. All right. Human, human. There's our objectives. Okay. Well, I can just deliver that right off the bat. I think that gets me some extra people. And so we're going to need two lumber camps and two shelters. And I get this, which is Trapper Camp. Meat, insects, eggs. Frankly, not important right now. Uh, let's see. Gonna just get a second lumber camp right there. We'll deal with the rest of this as we go along. Okay. Beaver boys, you guys get chucking. Because I want to get those. We're not going to get the power up, but that's probably okay. Last time we had that really nice bonus. Let's see. Do I actually want to do that? Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Cool. So that set, sets the speed. Let them go. Okay, so we should have plenty of food. We don't need it. We don't need any stone yet. Oh, here's the here's the immediate problem. I'm gonna pull that back. We need builders. Okay. Otherwise, we get no shelter, and that's bad. Okay. Start working on some of these things. Now my people should be pop properly housed. So, as far as these goods go, not that interested. I think I might want to just go send to the cit Citadel. Maybe. Because I know these people like religion, fun, clothing. Human housing, pie, biscuits, and jerky. Yeah, so depending on what we give them, they will be happier. I'm going to I'm going to say send to the citadel. I'm just going to have that one guy do it. We'll have to attend to some needs, but 
For now, this will do. Okay, where'd that sweet music go? Orders are ready to complete. Oh, hey! Done. The rest are going to unlock over time. And we get access to the brewery. Can produce ale, wine, and ink. Has four worker slots. That's for later, though. Cancel that for a hot second. Can I get access to these? Yes. We might as well get as much as we can. Okay, let's take a look. So none of my people are affected. Everything is good. And we have some more of these. So I got to get some grain. And we got to get a brewery. Oh, right. I wanted to get the Trapper's Lodge. Okay. I think we're going to... Let these lumber camps go for a hot second. We're not starving, and none of my people are dying. Nor are any of them particularly sad. Yet. Because, yeah, if I can bust into these areas, we'll be in a good spot. Okay. I'm going to go for these. I just like the beavers. I think the humans are actually happier, though. I should have gone for humans. Okay, so what is my total population? 14, so we need at least one more shelter. Yeah, I should have moved this down by one. I guess I'll just build two of those for the time being. Okay. Oh boy. I did not realize I sudden, suddenly had an influx of beavers. That's a weird statement to make, to be honest, but that's okay. We have an abandoned cache. I am going to just... Send my Liz boys. They're just going to raid that. Now, this is spooky. Contains a threat. Be prepared. I think I'll leave that for later. Orders are ready to complete. Oh, we've got one. Deliver some of that. And I'm going to need the brewery and I'm going to need some ale. Oh, we've also got this. So we have a kiln. Can produce coal, bricks, and jerky. Has three worker slots. And a tavern. Fun and luxury. Good to know. Well, I think for starters... Let's demolish this. We need some space. Best place for it? Probably here. Because we want to just get rid of an amount of these trees. Okay. Because, yeah, I've got all of these extra things. But I mostly just need to get things out of my hair. Alright, beaver boys. Do your thing. Give me access to these. Yeah, my city is going to get very crowded very quickly with the amount of trees that I have to contend with. What other orders do we have? Nothing. Some will be here in like 10 minutes. Well, planks, rope, and bricks, ale, wine, and ink, coal, and bricks. Hmm. You have to decide. Okay, my people are unhappy. Frankly, we should probably pay more attention to what 
the lizards need more than anything else. Okay. I... Mm, in that case... We need the crude workstation. Let's start with that. And then I might as well start working on the brewery. Which is big. Okay, so I'm going to assign my lizards here because I know my li wow that was fast oh hello so these are just random the 30% more goods produced by the brewery extra grain production grain yields additional ooh, or a set of tools gain 10 roots for every discovered glade I'm gonna go with the rich harvest and we're gonna pick up some more dwarves or dwarves. Beavers. They look like dwarves to me, alright? Okay, so that'll process some new new resources for us. And we have a new glade. It's a very small one, but we do have a new glade. Okay, other thing that I should probably do is... What is this? Trapper's Camp? Trapper's Camp. I put it here. It should give me access to the slick shell brood mother. Perfect. So this will let me expand what I can harvest. Okay, and I think yeah, we still have some space for residents. Oh, wrong person. You. Beaver lizard. Yeah, beavers are gifted woodworkers, but the lizards are good with animals and meat production. So good at dealing with those guys. And yeah, we want to just kind of harvest a number of thi these things in the immediate environment. Okay, well, people aren't terribly unhappy yet, but I will have to work on this. What else do we have to harvest? That. I was really hoping they'd focus on these guys. Because if I can move the farm here, that'll give us the whole field. Well, is what it is. What else am I going to do? I don't know. We wait. Okay. New little area. We've got some more slick shells. Some mushrooms. Another little area. Mostly just mushrooms and some farmland. It's pretty far out there. Okay, new season. Lizard and human? Lizard and human. I don't want too many lizards, to be honest. Okay, and then we go back up to speed. New orders. Nope. Getting there, but not quite. Okay, so I'm going to need pottery before I can make anything. I'm going to have my humans work that one. Okay, so I need a kiln. And we're also going to need... Oh, hello. I didn't know I had these. So makeshift hearth. and storage. So they'll deliver to the storage nearest to them. I think I'm gonna kind of ignore most of these, but I'm gonna get a trading post. That sounds way too useful to ignore. Okay, what about a tavern? Big thing. I don't know, figured out. Okay, so they want 
tavern, beer, and humans resolve above 75 for a little while. Should be fine. Okay. currently have most of these run by humans. I'm going to pull the human off of that. Yeah. Looks like the lizards are my, my kiln dudes as well. I'll work on it. Okay. Ah, some folks are saying that there's a trader coming in to expect it to, the right, uh, expect it to arrive at the first quarter of clearance. So Hilda will be coming to the settlement. She sells food blueprints for agricultural buildings and food production perks. Very useful. Okay. So one thing to note is that my food supplies are kind of low. They're not terrible, but they could be a lot better. I'm just going to start that path, because we're going to need to get it kind of into some of these locations. Somewhat comfortably. I guess it's only a 5% bonus, but it's still nice. Ugh. Okay. So how many loose people? I got three beavers ready to do something. I guess, frankly... Oh, let's see. Trapper's camp? No. Oh. We don't have the ability to collect mushrooms yet. Meat, insects, eggs... Vegetables, plant fiber, and insects. So, in that case... I'm just going to do a very temporary path over to that. Because, yeah, we should snag generally as much meat as we can. Okay, first quarter of clearance. So, next dry period. Oh, the kill ain't making bowls. Do we not have anything that makes bowls? Currently, no. Okay, I'll get that set. All right. Increase grain production by one for every 50 production cycles. Gain six pottery or extra meat yield. I'm going to go for the pottery yield just because I don't know how to pottery, apparently. Okay, and we also have... Uh, let's just grab everybody. I think... I have 21 people. Okay, so we sh we could use one more one more shelter. But where? This whole base business is getting kind of cramped. Okay. Send those on. How much more of these are there? 15 charges. Okay, this is starting to run out. Ooh. And this is slowing down. That's a bit of an issue. Put in on food. Better. Much better on food. Let's see, farm field. So in that case, we can use both of those spots for housing. I'm going to have to speed this up. I might not actually... I might uh, pull this one off. 
Because, yeah, I still don't know how to make bowls. Okay. We'll get bowls on a per recruit basis, but that's not quite the same. So in that case, maybe we want to consider getting another lumber camp somewhere. Not that one, though. Okay. Can I get a storage? Yes. Yeah, let's set that up. That way my people won't have to walk as far. Apparently, I think these guys are fine. But we could use a little bit more. Okay, these people aren't doing biscuits. This person is making charcoal. I'm gonna stop. Okay, we still don't have the ability to do, like... Gosh, much of anything. Okay, we got a human there. No, they're starting to touch this. Here we go. Uh, let's see. Basket of jerky, bundle of coats, and coal. I'm just going to send them off. Okay, let's demolish this lumber camp. Time to chuck some beavers into this one. Okay, it's going to take a little bit. Oh, maybe we don't want to do that. Get me another one of those, and I am just going to have... A person working on that. Here we go. Trading. So what is this? Harvesting crops is faster. Planting crops is faster. Extra game, grain production. Foragers camp blueprint. And there's also bolts. Resin. Leather. Let's see. These would be nice, but I don't know how much I care. Pull back like two? Oh, nope. Okay, how about 38? 36. Okay, so this way we get even more... Even more grain... And tons of bulls. So we can start working on booze. Perfect. So I'm going to pull the two humans onto that. And we now also have the forager's camp, so we can pull in mushrooms. And some other things. Mushrooms and eggs. Okay. It's got hairy. Across the board. Oh, that's that's the trader. Trader is left. That's fine. Okay, so we can do brewery and ale. Okay, we now can make the makeshift post. Produce a rack of provisions, rack of building materials... Or packs. Interesting. I guess I'll just put one of the lizards there. Main storage. Interesting. Unsure what a what that stands for. Or helps me with? I don't know. 
Okay, first quarter of clearance. What are these? Stonecutter's camp. You've needed much for stones. Like, I'm gonna pull one of these guys off. Grab a lizard. Okay. So I need a tavern. Do I have space for one yet? Not really, no. Do you want to just put it here? Shouldn't interfere. Okay, so we can get a tavern. That'll get me some fun. And hopefully I can reallocate some of my dudes, at least to give me the reputation that I need. Okay. Pottery. Oh. I had barrels. Well, that's good to know. So I could have done this a long time ago. Trapper's camp is Dunzo. Trapper's camp is Dunzo. All right, so that gives me a lot of leeway. On things to do. So first and foremost, let's start with a small farm. Okay, destroy that one. This way this farm will be better staffed. A couple of people. Okay, so we're doing fine on most of these things. The big issue is we need fun. Oh, human's resolve is, is done So, Hey, and that actually clears some things out, and we should have our last couple of objectives fairly shortly. Human house, beaver house, or lizard house. Go beaver house. Just because. Okay, I'm going to destroy that. That's too many. We only need four of these. Alright, and I'm going to get a number uh, another lumber camp. right here. That'll let me get access to both of these. At some point we'll get into one of those, but I'm pretty sure none of my people are ready for it. Okay, so we need packs of provisions, packs of building materials. There. I was wondering about this makeshift post. Well, hopefully that'll help the... That'll help the beavers. Hello. Uh, let's see. Oil, eggs, rope. Nah. Okay, while we're here, let's chop some of that down just so we have some more space. These are doing fine. We still have an amount of bulls, so I think we're okay. Yeah, I started with barrels, didn't even notice. Guess I should have been paying attention. Okay. He's got it handled, he's got it handled.
I guess I'll move my last lizard in there. Because I think I can make plenty of these. I have a lot of grain. Okay, drainage dish ditches. Roads are now constructed with meticulously designed drainage ditches. Moving on roads is faster, but moving off roads is slower. Gain three wine for every 15 ale produced, or... Discovering a glade gives plus three to global resolve for 1.5 minutes. Stacks duration. Dual brewing would be nice, but we're going to go thrill of that. And go houses. How are we doing housing-wise? I have 27 people. Yeah. Okay, I've got some empty houses. Okay, we got some reputation. Clothier or outfitter? Coats, ropes, paper? No, we want to go with the outfitter. Because it does coats, trade goods, and valuables. Perfect. What does it need to be built? Ah. Looks like he could use a friend. Just to get things done a little faster. And then I've got a bunch of spare beavers that need to start shopping. Okay, orders are ready to complete. A. We get some more tools, we get some barrels. Get these. You've won. Oh! You cannot choose to leave or play. Or continue to play on the map, but you won't earn any additional experience. New citadel upgrades, resources. Alright, we're going to the world map. I'm digging this. I'm... Oh, hi! Okay. So we just finished the two tutorial towns, and then there's cycles, and there's some other things. Okay, and we can see various modifiers along the way. Seasonal conditions. Oh, boy, howdy. Enter Citadel. What does this do? Experience, 30 out of 20, level 2. Trade routes, 5 stone per minute. Spices from the citadels, uh, okay. Buy, up, buy upgrades, okay. I guess we can get the obsidian library, because everything else requires higher level. So this got me cookhouse, mill, and rain collector. Okay. Yeah, Provisioner. Provisioner levels. Interesting. Close out of that, seeing as I can't afford anything. So, I'm assuming by completing these, I get the blue resource. Okay, so in that case, enter Citadel. Let's take a look. What do I need to farm? So, I don't know what preparation points or guild houses get me. Looks like I can get that one fairly easily. Seller in a market. Herbalist camp and apothecary. <sighs> or just three bread. I might want to just do a three bread run and just see what I'm dealing with first. Hard. Normal. Oh, I see. Yeah, the further I go out, go out, the harder it is. And also, oh, the Royal Woodlands. We're stuck in the first biome. This makes this makes sense. Oh, you can even see different areas have different things. So this stuff. Scarlet Orchard? Well, it's not a biome that I can land in. I can still get the resources off of it. Same thing with some of these. Good to know. Well, in that case, if this is going to be normal. Oh, I see. And the further out you get, the harder it's going to be. Let's start with this one. So, name your settlement, embark, summary, modifiers. So, not great meat, positive effects, harvesting speed is increased. But lumber is going to be a problem. 
Clearance effect. Sun festivities. Ways to celebrate ex uh, celebrate and express themselves. Keep people eager. Fulfill food. Focus. Chance to double yield with every production. S okay. Downpour. Units are slower, but if I give them clothing, it's not a big deal. Alright, I understand how this works. That said, we will check out all of this stuff and deal with all of this stuff on the next episode of Against the Storm. This is really neat. I'm probably going to only do a couple runs, you know, maybe normal, hard, very hard. But I know there's like trade routes and some other things. So who knows? I might stick around for a while and then we'll come back for later. There's also ending the cycle and maybe that's what I'll do. But for now at least, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.